Hello and welcome everyone to part 2 of the Mercedes Benz ML350 Rebuild Series. So as you guys saw in the previous episode, we started the pulling process on the main damage here using the little emergency winch that we talked about. If you didn't see the previous video, go check it out, it's amazing. And we also got to tear out the, the right side of the radiator support out and straighten a little bit the apron along with removing the fender. Also, to add over that, we tried to start the truck, but it wouldn't start because of a burnt out fuse box. So we're gonna need a new one of those, which is hopefully what it needs to start up. Now in this video, we're gonna start disassembling some more. So we're gonna take out the hood, the front bumper, a lot of stuff on the carriage some more so let's get to it okay guys so we got the strut out now we have this early on looking hose which i'm gonna break while disconnecting so why not and we still have a couple of bolts on the hinges and the hood will be out so we're gonna cut the hose cause well we don't want to break the connection cause it's plastic and it's little and we have a lot of more of hose length to replace the small cut with so this is the safest road we're gonna go with would you look at that now we cut the excess off we have brand new Guys, we got all the bolts for the hood loose. Now we're gonna leave you on the stand with some music. You would vibe while we suffer removing the hood. Okay guys, so I don't know if you can tell, but if you look closely over here, there's a slight bend to the hood. So we're gonna use it as a trampoline and jump on it, straighten it out. Snap it back on and send it away. Brand new! <laughs> okay guys, so we are planning to make a junkyard in this yard. So we're gonna start by throwing the first couple of pieces. So if anybody needs some Marseille spots, we have a junkyard. Hit us up. Guys, so as you saw us fixed the hood, we also fixed the bumper, we added a new mount for the bumper. Oh yeah, brand Let's go. new. Brand new. Anyway, all jokes aside, back to the real world, we got a lot of parts for the car. Like the fender. Parts, but at least OEM, a fender, hood, and this is the apron slash frame rail assembly, which we will be slicing and dicing and welding the parts that we need to it. now we're gonna slap the hood on maybe fender see the alignment of the stuff and we'll see where we go from there okay guys so i'm removing the hood hinges because they are bent out of shape and we're gonna be replacing them too Okay guys, so this is here the next week because, well, a uh, thunderstorm came through all the week and we couldn't work any day. So now it became a little bit sunny, so we're gonna proceed where we left, which is 
last thing we did is we laid down the hood now we're gonna be removing the front bumper and also we still have to do some pulling because the apron is still a little bit off so we're gonna straighten everything up and we'll see where we go from there okay guys so behind the fuse box we found this damage Hopefully, this is what's causing the truck to shut down and not start. And also, this is what burned the old fuse box. We got a new one, by the way. Okay, guys, so we got uh, some measurements from our friend's car. Now we're gonna take some measurements of the apron and over there of the strut mount. So now we need to go one centimeter out on this bolt hole and three centimeters out over this bolt hole, then we'll be perfectly straight. Okay guys, so as you saw, we made a lot of pulling and the measurements came out. This one is perfectly true. This one is a little bit crooked, but well, you can you can see why. So now we're gonna start uh, disassembling all these wires and taking them out. Then we're gonna cut it down and straighten it a little more with a hammer. And then we're gonna start welding the new piece in, hopefully. Okay guys, so as you can see, we started the cutting. Now I'm gonna pull on it some more because now it will pull from the underside because it was uh, hanging on this one, this one's straight. And the bend's from the other side, now it will pull the bend, the bend out. Okay guys, so as you saw, I ended up uh, grinding some spot welds and also chiseling some out because we couldn't get to the bottom part, we couldn't pull it out. Now, it's only, this part is only attached to the bottom part, if you look closely over here, it's creased. So, now if we pull this one out, it will straighten this bend out, hopefully. Okay guys, so now we got the outer part of the apron ripped out. Now we're gonna work on straightening everything up. We have a little bit of a crease here. It's not coming out easily, so we're gonna be popping this spot weld and this one. And straightening them piece by piece. guys so last time you saw us we was working on the apron and then we paused on that been a couple of days 
Today, earlier, we painted the FJ45 and we took it and put it in, down in the sun. You're gonna be, see this video next. Probably this, you must have seen this video before you watch this video. Anyway, now we're gonna be pushing the Mercedes forward, put it in front of the FJ45. So, we're gonna be switching the cars. Okay guys, so we moved the ML forward just to have some more working space around, around the car and also as you can tell the battery is drained so if you wonder where the battery is located on a Mercedes-Benz ML 2009 it's under the passenger seat so taking it out there's a little pocket where it slides in like so so first you remove both negative and positive cables and then you lift the battery up and pull it out like so like I'm just gonna show you right now, I removed both cables and I lifted the battery up so I'm gonna hug it around and pull it out so we're gonna test the battery out, so we have this multimeter we're gonna test the voltage with Put it on 20 volts direct current. So it's junk. We're gonna put it on the charger, see if, see if life's come back to her because the color of the see through is black. Black means recharge, not. Uh, if it's white, you need to replace. Green, it's good. Black, recharge. So it's saying black, so recharge. We're gonna try that first. Goes well. It's a three hundred dollar piece. So. Okay, guys. So it's the next day, and as you saw yesterday, we pushed the car forward to have more workspace around the car. Also, we moved, we removed the battery and set it on the charge on boiling. So now we're gonna head straight to work. And as you saw yesterday, we drilled out the spot welds, which well didn't work much for us because it's pretty much damaged all the way so i'm gonna have to slice it out and slice a new piece in Okay guys, so now we're gonna grind down a couple of cut of spot weld that hold the apron to the strut mount, which is strut assembly. So we're gonna drill them out, then cut it sliced out of here and weld this piece in. Guys, so a quick update, we finished building the spot welds that we need. Now we're gonna move our focus on the donor piece and remove the spot welds with this glider because it's faster. Okay guys, so we started the assembly. We, we assembled this part of the that radiator support. Now I'm gonna install this air duct, which goes like so. These are all new parts. Junk your Guys, so now we got everything ready. I'm gonna test fit it, see if it lines up.
Okay guys, so it's the next day here and we woke up early and got straight to work. We finished slicing some stuff out and also we straightened a couple of stuff that was bent a little bit some more. And then we trimmed everything and cleaned everything and it's ready to be welded. We also added this brace in the structural support. This will fit like so, it will slide in and will add structure to the weld. So gonna slice something here and get straight to welding. Okay guys, so here's the apron that we're gonna weld and as you can see we've made a little bit of bracing from the inner side which will add structure and also make it easier to weld and it will be more rigid. So all we have to do is sit it in place. Mm -hmm. right, so now we have a perfect seam to weld. Okay guys, so as usual we throw down some dimes and if you haven't noticed yet, we're using a stick weld, which is pretty good considering the situation that we are in, it's fine as it can be. So now we're gonna push in the spot welds, the inside layer, then stitch it back on, or at least spot weld it as it was from the factory. Okay guys, so as you can tell we are done welding and it's sturdy as hell because well I'm sitting on it and it's holding my weight. So now we're gonna test fit some parts and start focusing on the body. Okay guys, so as you can tell it's night time now. Last time you, you saw us we was welding the apron which turned out to be on point. We assembled some stuff off camera too and now we got everything masked out because we're gonna paint the apron the inside of the strut tower and also the inside the face of all the new parts let's go and paint guys so the next day and as you saw we finished welding the apron and a little part of the strut tower and also we made some assembly and we painted the inside for the new parts along with the paint apron now we're gonna head straight to assembly we're gonna assemble all the electricals that we removed here and then hopefully try to start it up Okay guys, we got this in delivery today, which is the new bumper for the ML. It 
seals, but it's clean. Good enough. Now I'm gonna complete the installation on the front end of the ML. Okay guys, so as you can see, everything got installed and every body line lines up perfectly. The hood is perfectly lined with both the fenders and both headlights. Now, we're gonna throw in the battery. We took it off the charger. It's good enough. Then, we're gonna try to turn it on. Hopefully it runs. And if it does, we're gonna go do a test drive and get some paint for it. guys so here we have a new fuse box we're gonna be replacing with the old one it's all with the box and the cover hopefully this one works and this will be the issue of the car and now it will start right up So as you can tell guys, the SUV fired right up. Good and also mind blowing. Because we moved a lot of weight over our chest. Thank God. guys so we got a lot of progress done in this video finished the metal wall got some new parts and we assembled all the parts that we have except for the grill what we have we didn't assemble it anyway we got a lot done and most importantly we fired up the car and did a test drive which was a huge rock that we removed off of our hearts so now we can relax finish the, the some minor details and all we have to do now is do some body work which is finishing the body work that we already started throw on some primer then paint the whole car one last time which is hopefully what you'll see in the next video if you like what you see like the video comment down below see you on the next one